everybody. Mark Spec the Comics, and I'm back. This time with my top five picks for New Comic Book Day. Stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. Um, haven't been able to put a lot of content out this past week. After I made last week's top five video, I ended up dropping my laptop and the screen went out. So uh, I had to get that fixed over the weekend and now we're back. Um, so like I said, top five picks for new comic book day. First week of October, favorite time of the year. My birthday's on Saturday. Little guy's birthday is middle of the month. My wife's birthday is at the end of the month. So it's a packed, packed month for us. Um, we love this time of the year. We love the fall. We love the fall leaves. We love the bruise. We love horror. So uh, this week we have a lot to talk about for New Comic Book Day. But I'm going to make this rapid fire style because, you know, we're getting this video out late, unfortunately. So uh, I'm going to do one honorable mention while we... Uh, before we get into the top five picks. So from Dynamite Comics, we got Garbage Bale Kids, issue number one. Um, this just looks like a fun read. It's gonna be a parody of Captain America, so the character's Atom Bomb. There's some really cool atomic bomb covers on there. I do like to collect atomic bomb covers from time to time when I, when I can find them. Um, so take your pick, there's some cool ones on here. But uh, I don't expect anything spec-wise to make out of this this book. It's just like a fun book for covers, you know? So that's my honorable mention. I could have added a lot more honorable mentions because this week is stacked for comics. But um, I wanted to keep, keep this to a short video. So, number five this week we got from DC, Gotham City Year One. Issue number one. Written by Tom King, artwork by Phil Hester. Tom King's one of those artists, you either love him or hate him. Um, I'm on the fence more towards I'm not a big fan of him than anything else but when he does like one shots in short series he tends to hit it out of the park I do like this one um, I believe this is going to be a mini series and it talks about Gotham City which you know you don't often get a lot of stories just based off of Gotham City you usually get spotlights of certain characters here and there but not actual Gotham City it was a big fan of the series Gotham when it was out on Fox um, they did a, a really good job of the series on Fox for the I think it was five five or six series uh, seasons that they did so if it's something along the lines of that I, I'll probably enjoy the uh, the series so well that's my number five this week number four we got from image this is called dark ride issue number one written by Josh Williamson artwork by Andre Bresson um, this is also, as you can imagine, a horror uh, title. I'm going to show you just one cover this week. If uh, you can get your hands on this cover, I think um, for the spec players, you're going to do really well on this one. It's going to be the thank you variant. I do like the, the trade that says Devil Land on there, scariest place on earth. Reminds me almost like a trade that you see from um, those old like Walt Disney covers. But basically, the story has to do with the world's world premiere horror-themed amusement park for over 50 years, home to the scariest ride ever created, The Devil's Do. So, um, talks about some of the horrors behind the scenes of what goes on in the amusement park. So, um, I like Josh Williamson, like his writing. I think I'm gonna give it a shot and see where it goes from there. Number three this week, we got from Image Again, Junkyard Joe, issue number one, written by Jeff Johns, artwork by Gary Frank. If you enjoyed Geiger, you're going to enjoy Junkyard Joe. Um, Junkyard Joe was, I think he was like, he had a cameo in one of the issues in Geiger, I forget which one it was. But um, this is just further expansion on the universe created by uh, Jeff Johns and Gary Frank. Um, the first series, I think it was six issues. I really enjoyed Geiger. 
Um, was hoping we'd get more down the line. Hasn't happened yet. We did get the 80 page one shot back and I think it was January or February, which was pretty good. Um, and it introduced red coat. So, um, now you're going to be talking about Junkyard Joe. I'm hoping they get maybe a volume two of Geiger somewhere down the road because the series was really good. It's post-apocalyptic. So, um, if you guys like stories about, you know, post-apocalyptic, you know, utopias, war, fighting, so forth, you'll, you'll like uh, Junkyard Joe. This one dates back, obviously, to the uh, Vietnam War, though. So, it's a little... It's a little uh, side story from the actual Geiger um, so that's my number three this week number two is coming from DC we got Batman issue number 128 written by Zadarsky and artwork by Jorge Jimenez um, this continues on with failsafe which is the villain of the series well at least this story arc and um, Zadarsky has been doing a really really good job with you know his writing on Batman so far. I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, Failsafe has been really like putting a number on Batman, so uh, just excited to see where the next few issues go. And uh, going into number one this week, no Marvel. Marvel didn't make the week again. <laughs> I'm just not a big fan of what they're doing right now. Um, I know they came out with a little Spider Man series, which I'm not really sure why, why they continue to make new series for Spider Man. Um, but, uh, there was a few other stories, not interested in the Avengers, you know, X and all of the other spin-offs from this, you know, current, uh, I guess, you know, spin-off that they're doing with the big event. It, just not a big fan. So, um, going off to number one this week, we got from Dark Horse Comics, and it's going to be a horror story. Night of the Ghoul, issue number one. Written by Snyder and artwork by Francesco Francavilla. Um, I read this issue already. If you have Comixology, you can actually read the first six issues. Um, I've read issue one so far, and it was fantastic. Um, talks about in 1936, Night of the Ghoul writer director T.F. Merritt was meant to sit beside Frankenstein, and Dracula is an instant classic. But the legendary film never made it to the screen because the studio burnt down just before launching. Um, Forrest Inman is a horror film obsessive who likes to digitize old films at his movie studio. And then he seemingly forgotten canister he found of, ended up being Night of the Ghoul. Um, he goes on his goose chase looking for the director. He finds him and then he talks to him and he finds out that the ghoul is real. <laughs> so it was really good story. Um, artwork was fantastic. And that's why it's my number one this week. Hopefully you guys get a chance to read it. Let me know in the comments down below what you're looking forward to this week. And uh, until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.